Okay, this is the CPU that you'll need to install in the 8000. Um, notice it has the adapter uh, that changes it. Um, so it's very simple. All you're going to need is a standard screwdriver. Uh, it's best to take off the or take the 8000 out of the truck and get it on a workbench. It makes it a little easier. Uh, if you have to or you don't want to do that, you can do it in the truck, but you'll probably drop some screws. Um, anyway, so just first off, there's four screws. Take off the cover. Okay, and you can see in there, here's our printer, the battery, and the CPU is underneath the battery, so we're going to have to get to that. First thing we're going to do is take off the front panel, which there's just two screws on both sides. Okay. Pull this cover off, just lift out this way. There's a little connector right here. It's just kind of wiggle, pops off. You can see that's what was holding it together. So now I'll disconnect the battery and I'm just going to take these four screws out to take the battery off the top of the CPU. And then the CPU itself just has these two screws here, so just take those out. And same thing, just kind of wiggle this, pull it up, because there's these three connections. So this is your CPU. Here's the new one. Same thing, just make sure these line up with those. Press down to seat. Start putting the screws back in. Replace the battery. Go ahead and connect the battery back to the power control module. Okay, now we put our front panel back on. You'll have to wiggle it a little bit to get this, this lip from the printer through it, but again, just press it to make sure it's seated in that port and then just replace the screws on the side. Okay, once you have those screws in, so now we just put the cover back on. Okay, and then the last thing to do is just to put the sticker, the industrial sticker, so what it's going to look like, basically this, so it'll just fit over there.